Hey guys, so today I want to give you guys an update on the AVN wrapper script for Stackscript. Uh, since the previous video, I've made multiple improvements to the script so you can use any of the AV1 encoders and pass in any encoder arguments or even like the AVN arguments. You're not restricted by the hardcoded flex of the wrapper script anymore. If you already have the script installed, and you just want to see what's new, you can just skip to this timing to see how to use the new updated script. Okay, so let's start with a clean copy of stack script here. So this is a clean copy with nothing installed. And let's just go ahead and copy the encoders that we've downloaded on into the stack script folder. So everything everything is all in the GitHub, all the instructions. If you go to setup portable install, it'll tell you where all the encoders needs to go. So let's go ahead and start with ABN. And Avian also needs uh, the Avian folder also needs ffmpeg, so it needs the version with the shared libraries. So let's just copy that. Now the AOM encoder, um, Stackscript already comes with the AOM encoder, but it's kind of outdated. So let's just go ahead and replace that. Same with Revy and the SVT AV1 encoder. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and download the wrapper script itself. I'll just go ahead and download the zip. Put that extracted here. Uh, rename and get this master out because this is where it's, what the proper name is. This is the proper folder name. And let's go ahead and run this setup, um, setup script to set everything up. Okay, so now that everything's installed and set up, press enter to continue. So actually, uh, now there's a new batch file here, which launches CMD and adds all these encoders to path. So see path set, now you can access encoder tools. So what this CMD uh, script lets you do is actually access all the encoders and the NAVN all in one, all in this CMD without needing to set path or install it into like Windows or anything. So for example, now that you run now that you run this script, you can actually do AVN version and it will even tell you like paper synth plugins and you found both of them, which is what you want. Um, and also you can do stuff like check out what's your Rev version. Yep. And you can even run Python, the Python script. You can even run the wrapper script with the version flag. And it will tell you all the encoders and what their version is, what's installed, ffmpeg, avian, this is the AOM encoder, Revy and yeah, SVT AV1. Okay. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and launch text rip. So yeah, we, I want my settings in this folder. Now um in the instructions to set up stack strips are also in, this is also in the GitHub. And basically, we need to just set this to command line and go to connect configuration. Uh, let's just go ahead and copy this command to launch Avian and the wrapper. So the difference between this and the previous uh, Revy script, which is by the way here, is that now you can it takes in an encoder, uh, an, an encoder flag, and it takes in uh, video arguments as of as of as a parameter. So you can basically pass in any video arguments you want to Avian and Avian will pass it to the encoder. So the output file type, make sure you change it to MKV as well. Okay, now let's save it. So the available encoders are basically all the AV1 encoders. If you want to check, you can use the same window here. Go ahead and launch Avian and this time with the help flag. It will sh show you all the available um, par parameters and arguments. So as you can see, encoder is here, and the, the possible values are all of these. The ones that are supported by this script is only the AV1 encoders. So let's go ahead and try using AOM. Right here. And I'll just go ahead and copy, copy some parameters I have that I've pre prepared. It's just this from Reddit. It's apparently good parameters to use for video encoding. So let's go ahead and hit OK. 
and we have our test video here so let's go and test that all right so add job and let's start the job oh okay so when this happens and it doesn't really tell you what's, what error it has occurred because it occurred in avian what you can do is actually just copy this command here so this command just go ahead and copy it wholesale you can just dump it into this into this uh the same actually same wrapper script here if you just copy and paste it here which is not copied let me just go ahead and copy that again you will actually tell you the error because it actually runs avian and yeah all the all the directories and everything is the same so it just works so as you can see keyframe for three number two is only works so yeah i think we can just get rid of that so yeah we can just get rid of this Hit okay and job and voila it's it starts encoding so yeah so guys this is an update on how to use the avian stack strip wrapper script with other encoders and in this example it's uh, the aom encoder hope this helps you guys and have a good one